Our speaker is Professor Lin, who is an associate professor at National Taiwan University of Science and Technology. His research interests include 3D data acquisition, 3D reconstruction, computer vision, computer graphics related topics. Okay, thank you. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Song Han Lin. I'm from National Taiwan University of Science and Technology at Taipei, Taiwan. And it is my honor to present my uh, research work uh, entitled A Camera Array System Based on These SLR Cameras for Auto Stereoscopic Print. Um, this is not a very new topic in uh, past decade, but in my opinion, um, I think because um, so far many people use camera to take a picture, but uh, many people don't want to go to photo studio to take a picture. So this is why we want to develop a camera array system to encourage people going to photo, st a photo studio to take a picture. For example, take a family picture, take a wedding picture, take a, a portrait picture for yourself, and uh, to have a high quality um, image for a 3D uh, auto stereos auto stereoscopic printed uh, image. So this is my outline um, of a presentation I would uh, dedicate on uh, describe how we uh, develop our proposal system. And in this system, we have in encountered uh, several problems, including uh, synchronization issue and the color calibration issue and uh, also the 3D calibration issue, particularly for uh, a camera alignment. And finally, we'll discuss our, uh, our, we'll show our result and the conclusion. So our motivation is to build a camera system, a camera array system based on a DSLR camera. Because the DSLR, DSLR camera is a very high performance camera so far, and it's very cost effective for me. So I try to uh, build one camera system with this uh, DSLR camera to have a quality uh, photo. And the other uh, reason is we want to have a smooth pipeline to generate uh, the auto stereoscope image automatically. And uh, finally, we want the, the, the device will be a qualified and standalone device to be easy use. So we have uh, built a camera system look like um, build a camera system look like um, the the the, the sketch and. Uh, in, in between, we need to uh, develop some technology, including uh, system control and uh, system calibration and the data processing. And finally, we, we expect the uh, high quality uh, image will come out. So this is our prototype. We use a, a Nikon camera D5300 model. And the only, uh, there are seven cameras we use. The image resolution is up to um, 24 megapixels, and the, the camera in between, the converge angle in between camera is around 1.5 degree. And the focusing, the focusing distance is around uh, three meter. We only designed for a portrait uh, photograph. And the synchronization uh, is, is excused by an external circuit uh, just around the, the this is bow, look like uh, on the, the, the top of the image of the figure. And all the control and the processing is, was excused by one computer. And uh, what is the existing problem in this kind of device? And it is difficult to synchronize the individual camera because the, each camera is, uh, have its own circuit and, and not easy to control by external method. So we, we have developed a one circuit to control the camera, uh, to tweak the camera. And the other important issue is the discrepancy among the several cameras because uh, they may have a different color system, may have a different exposure value, and uh, the field view may be different. So this, this kind of issue needed to, need to be calculated or uh, handled by a very accurate uh, calibration. And then the other issue is um, because we need to build a camera, a camera rig, and uh, in camera rig, it is very difficult to align the camera very precisely. So we need a software solution to overcome this problem. And another issue is um, it's very, very much easy to uh, overcome. For example, the optimization of uh, the commercial angle or mechanical design or a long-term power supply issue. 
So this is a scheme, uh, sketch. This uh, figure shows our uh, scenario. Uh, initially, we have uh, one camera to send a trigger signal to an Arduino board, and it's this Arduino board will again trigger seven um, relay circuit to trigger a camera to take a photo simultaneously. After the image was taken, we use um, USD, uh, USB cable to download the, 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 the photo. And each photo have a, a very precise timestamp and have a correct ID. So we can automatically process in the, this uh, photo. So this is our uh, software uh, framework. We use uh, open source um, one open source called digital cam control. This is a, a very open source, uh, open source, open source, and you can remod remodify this so this program to be uh, one commercial product. And this this software also can control um, most uh, DSLR camera. So we use so we uh, remodify this program to control the uh, our uh, camera system. And uh, before we use this software, we need to turn all of a function as possible into manual mode because some um, synchronization issue maybe depends on the, the, the function because some, most function in digital camera is automatically adjusted. For example, you, when you trigger your camera, maybe you need um, uh, maybe up to one second to adjust the focusing. This is the auto function. It should be turned off. So, and after we take a picture, we also uh, correct the cam uh, camera image to the computer to do uh, processing. And in the right side of this, is our circuit design uh, uh, based on an antenna board. And regarding the color calibration, we use um, second order polynomial function to regress uh, uh, the color. So this is the example we use. And actually, we use um, 24 color tracker, which, which was manufactured by SRI company. And uh, all of the color have a very precise uh, SYZ color space uh, value. So we can use our uh, image to map the major value to the target value. So our camera will have uh, the same reference. That's why we can calibrate the like, seven camera uh, at once. After calibration, you can look at the right corner, at the right, right top button corner. This is a uh, CIE 1931 uh, color, color chart. So after calibration, the color is much precise than the, than the uncalibrated condition. And the color calibration also includes some issue, uh, for example, the informality or a gamma adjustment. But the informality and gamma adjustment is sometimes not necessary because um, some photo style may have uh, need um, uh, some because uh, the gamma just adjust only adjusts the brightness of the image, and the inform informality may be caused by uh, lens because the lens may be have a dark region on the corner size. This is one kind of a photo, uh, photo scenario, so I think it's not necessary to be uh, overcome. So at least we need a color mapping to uh, make us sure all the color was correct for uh, all camera. And regarding the 3D reconstruction, uh, 3D uh, calibration, we use a projection transformation to, to uh, to, to calculate our camera. Um, this is uh, basically a one stereo uh, camera issue. Um, conventionally, the stereo camera can uh, do one uh, processing code rectification to adjust the camera into one parallel mode. That means um, if uh, one uh, stereo camera have a um, non-aligned epipole line, after rectification, the epipole line will be very well aligned. So this is the one best solution for stereo camera to uh, make a good alignment. But in our system, we, we have at least uh, seven camera. So for this kind of application, I think the, the solution is not uh, good enough and uh, much expensive for me to execute pair by pair uh, rectification. So, for this issue, we have developed another much simple um, um, method to overcome this problem. So we simplified um, the uh, uh, 
simplify the perception because the, the the because the transformation is one kind of a homography. So why don't we use um, another method to estimate a better uh, transformation in between the camera? So we choose a homography method. This is the um, analytical solution for. Uh, um, transformation between camera from one direction to another direction. You can use um, one checkerboard to calculate that in, in between camera. So in our system, we use uh, we need to select one target image. So we on, we, use, we choose the uh, center camera as the target image, and uh, on the right and, and and the rest camera should be uh, convert to align the center camera. So in this procedure, we have determined the homography in between, for example, image one to image four, and image two to image four, and so on. And uh, after we determine the homography between the image one to image four, we can directly convert the, cam the image and have a good alignment to image four, but However, we want to have a good uh, perspective effect, so we need to deal with the homography again. In here, we have uh, developed a, a software algorithm to decompose the homography. In, indeed, the homography can be decomposed into three parts. One is similarity uh, transformation. The other is a fine transformation. And the final one is a projective transformation. In our application, we only use two terms. One is similarity, the other is a fine mapping. The similarity means um, one camera have a little bit, uh, if the camera have been rotated or the field of, the field of view have been changed, we can use the similarity uh, transformation to calculate the, the value and use the matrix to compensated error. And the affine transformation is another type of this, uh, and this, another kind of uh, distortion. It will have a sure effect of, for example, your image may be, your rectangle may be, a, may be, may be uh, become a parallel, like something like that. So after we determine the homography, we have finally collect, uh, only pick a two turn, similar turn, and a fine mapping turn to generate the final transformation. So as you can see in the, the bottom table, you can see the, 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 third, the third row of this transformation will be 001. That means this transformation do not take out the perspective effect. So this is an example of our, uh, of our calibration result. In this calibration, we, um, there are f uh, seven rectangles on the right, uh, left figure. We, we superimpose the, several, uh, the seven uh, images on the, the figure. So here's the original position. After the calibration, uh, the, rectangle, the, the checkerboard will be aligned into the center, central, fi central region. And the, their perspective effect, their perspective is still remain. Okay, so this is our uh, calibration result. As you can see, uh, initially the camera is not aligned very, not very well. So what, once you take a picture, the original data will look like uh, left side. And after calibration, we can take a picture, we can calculate, we can have a better uh, picture look like uh, right hand side. And you can, uh, you can, you can note the right bottom corner, the perspective effect still remain. As you can see in the right hand, let's just uh, side by side compare. And this is another uh, bullet, uh, bullet time effect uh, scenario. So or the, the left, left hand side is uh, original data and the right hand side is uh, calculated data with uh, homography transformation and we also crop the image to remove the, the, the redundant boundary. Okay, and this is another example. So as you can see, the, the camera can uh, rotate smoothly in uh, camera one, 
move to camera uh, seven. So finally, we want to uh, export uh, the uh, uh, auto stereoscopy print. So we need to crop an image uh, into a, a multiple image. So this is a very simple procedure. We, we just, uh, just crop the column by column and insert the column into one uh, lenticular lens, uh, uh, one lenticular cylinder. So in this cylinder, we have uh, seven image, seven column image inside. And as you can see, we use a PMMA material, and this PMMA is around a four meter thick thickness, around four millimeter. And this is the original, this is the raw data of our before print. And finally, we also have another software design on uh, adjust the zero disparity plan. Uh, for example, we need to, be, for in some scenario, we need to uh, enlarge or or increase or decrease the disparity. So we have uh, also designed this, this kind of function. As you can see, um, because um, the original image is much higher than the projector, so you, you may see the fencing effect. So this one is increase, increase, and increase. Yeah. OK. So finally, we have choose um, some method to explore the data. We use a practical method to check the, the, the printed resolution. And this is the final readout. And finally, the overall flowchart look like uh, this flowchart. So the line limit, so it just goes through the process. And this is the final, re uh, final result, like this. I'm sorry, but because uh, the video have been rotated, so this is just a demonstration. So just make a conclusion. We have successfully built a camera, system, a camera array system to, to um, to, to generate the multi-pixel imagery, and also overcome several issues, including synchronization, color calibration, and projection transformation. And in the future work, we have already built, and so far we just passed a few weeks ago, we have developed another type of uh, a multi-view camera with a 17 view camera, and we also use mirrorless camera. This would be a better synchronizing performance for us. That's all my presentation, thank you.